Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you guys are having a really great day thus far. And so, of course, in this video, I'll be taking you guys through what is currently happening across the North Atlantic. There is that Saharan dust, a new plume of dust, which is extended across sections of the tropical Atlantic. And uh, there is also lots of rainfall across some areas. So I uh, will be taking a look at the rainfall total maps as usual. And then one of the main aspects of this video, the potential of seeing a tropical storm develop from a tropical wave and make its way into the Caribbean. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay guys, and so as we return to this satellite imagery, we can definitely see that there's quite a bit going on across some areas, some sections of the North Atlantic. We see lots of activity off the southeastern U.S. and also inland of some of these states, going to uh, Mississippi and Alabama, but uh, we're going to be focusing on the tropical Atlantic, uh, of course, and so as we look into the area there, we can definitely see that trail of showers and thunderstorms uh, just off northern South America, as well as a lot of activity over in the southwestern Caribbean. So let's zoom in to some of these areas and we're starting out with northeastern South America. Here we can see all of this activity. So this is offshore. So that is something important to note. This is offshore. And uh, actually going to Venezuela, sections of Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, we're not seeing where there is a whole lot happening this morning. However, as we head throughout today, it's likely that there's going to be an increase in rainfall activity across sections of these different territories. Uh, and that will possibly be the case for Trinidad as well. So some of that activity uh, can and also induce some rainfall in Trinidad and then go into the vicinity of the ABC Islands. A brief thunderstorm uh, developing just off Aruba, but uh, nothing much in the vicinity of Curacao and Bonaire. Uh, let's go to the uh, wider view of the Caribbean region here. And so we can see that there we have all of that activity, lots of deep convection, uh, heavy rainfall taking place right now uh, down in parts of southern Central America and sections of Colombia, uh, northern Colombia. Lots of activity here. And this was been forecasted by the GFS and uh, actually expected to be an origin point for a possible system. And the model has been consistent about it actually happening. But in terms of that rainfall, of course, that is the main concern here because uh, all of this heavy rainfall is likely triggering flooding across some areas and it is going to be persistent for some time. So I hope that everyone there is taking all necessary precautions and staying safe. As we head further into the northern Central American territories, going to El Salvador, parts of Honduras, the Bay Islands, uh, Guatemala, the Yucatan, Belize, and Burgess Key. We're seeing that there isn't much happening this morning. Beautiful sunshine across these areas. Uh, similar story for the Cayman Islands sections of Jamaica, Cuba. Uh, we see the development of some activity just offshore of Hispaniola over in the west. And of course, for Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, going all the way down to the Lesser Antilles, down to Grenada. We're not seeing where much is taking place. A bit of cloud cover over some sections of Barbados at the moment. So guys, now let's go ahead and move on to the rainfall total map to see what is expected as we head throughout today. So we're starting with the GFS model here. So GFS is expecting that there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall, of course, in sections of Central America, because we're going to have all that activity being pretty continuous uh, and persistent within the area. And the model is also expecting some substantial rainfall for some sections of uh, Northern South America, of course, sections of Colombia going to Venezuela, Guyana, and maybe for sections of Suriname and French Guiana as well. But where we see those spots of purple, that is where we have lots of rainfall, uh, maybe in excess of over 60 millimeters. So uh, quite a bit of activity throughout today, guys. And of course, again, if you're experiencing any flooding or if you should experience any flooding through today or at any point in time, please do not take any unnecessary risks. However, for the rest of the Caribbean, we're not seeing where much is expected. It should be a pretty sunny day for most of us. And as we go on to the Euro model, Euro is uh, pretty much in agreement with this, showing a bit less rainfall for some areas areas, but uh, nonetheless, it is something similar. Most of that rainfall across the southwestern Caribbean and for parts of northern South America. Okay, so let us now go ahead and take a look at the Saharan air layer map. So here we have it, and uh, we can see that there is quite a bit of dry air that is out there extended across the tropical Atlantic right now, and also in sections of the Caribbean. So uh, when we have more of those darker uh, shades of oranges and reds, that is where we have a lot more uh, being in abundance. And, and so 
as we're going to be heading into this new week, models are forecasting that, hey, we could see one of these waves uh, moving off Africa developing. And so uh, it isn't just one or two models, it's actually multiple. So I'm going to be showing you guys what they are expecting. And we're starting out with the icon model. So this is uh, as of the zero Z run. And uh, this is for next Thursday, the 22nd of the month. So take a look at that. And if you're not familiar with this map too much, this is a map showing isobars, which are those black lines, and they join areas of equal pressure. Now, when we see them in that circular manner, and that value we see is uh, t below 1030 millibars, we're talking about the low pressure system, and it can sometimes be a tropical cyclone. And the more of those circular lines we see with a uh, decreased value that is uh, a stronger system there. So here is seen that the icon is expecting that there is going to be this 1009 millibar low pressure system, likely maybe a tropical storm on its way to the Caribbean. So icon was actually one of the first models I saw forecasting this uh, earlier this week. And so now here we have it being consistent about it. Going on to the NAVGEM model, this is the Navy Global Environmental Model. And so this is also expecting that we could possibly see something coming from the tropical Atlantic. But look in the Caribbean, it is in agreement with GFS about something possibly developing there. And then of course, over in the Eastern Pacific, a possible system as well. Let's go on to the, the Canadian model. So this one here uh, is not showing that we're gonna be seeing too much. There is that definite low pressure area. And uh, I think that the reason it is not showing that there's gonna be much is because of uh, the plethora of dry air as well as wind shear. Those coupled can really help to suppress development across the tropical Atlantic, especially if we start to see a more northwestward track of that wave whenever it develops, because then it would be accelerating into those uh, more hostile conditions. And so if it remains more south, though, and continues on a westward traje trajectory, then we could definitely see some development if it remains below that mass of dry air. Going on to the GFS model now. So we're looking at the latest run here as we're heading into uh, the early part of the new week, there we have GFS showing that we're going to be seeing that system developing heading to the Caribbean and even showing that system in the Caribbean. It is still being very consistent about it to say, hey, we're going to be seeing that storm. So only time will really tell what to expect. Let's go on to the Euro model. And so there is Euro uh, not expecting too much heading into this weekend, but eventually we start to see uh, that low pressure area as that wave makes its way westward and starts to get itself together and that eventually by the end of next week uh, it is going to be entering the Caribbean maybe as a tropical storm and if you guys look closely where we see those colors those greens uh, that is representing the precipitation rate and so notice how most of that is over the eastern side of it so this is telling me that hey we're going to be having the wind shear taking a toll on this system where we don't see much uh, organization it's likely going to be having an asymmetrical appearance on satellites and especially if crosses over the greater Antilles, uh, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, then it would weaken. But of course, it's too early to tell what is going to be happening because we're very far out. We're over a week out from when this could impact the Caribbean if it does develop. But, but all of these models are in agreement that, hey, we could see development as we're going to be heading into next week. And so that is uh, something very important to note. So if we're in the Eastern Caribbean, this is not to make you guys scared, but think of it uh, more as a heads up to say this is the time to ensure that things are in place uh, should in case your area is impacted by a tropical cyclone, not only next week, but throughout the next couple of months. And so, of course, guys, I'll continue to keep you updated on all that is happening so that you know what to expect ahead of time. And that is pretty much it for right now. And so I hope that you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be with the wise.